stereoselective reactions in this video we are going to discuss the meaning of stereoselective reactions so there are certain reactions where the product is having different stereoisomers out of these different stereoisomers only one is selected predominantly that reaction is called stereoselective reaction say for example a plus b gives you c and d but here c and d are in 50 50 proportion so this is not there is no selection so this is not stereoselective reaction but if the same reaction provides 75 percent c product and just 25 percent d product then this is stereoselective reaction because out of these two possible stereoisomer one is selected predominantly because of this this is called stereoselective reaction Depending on the enantiomers and diastereomers, these stereoselective reactions are actually divided into two types. One is enantiomeric excess reaction. This is also called enantioselective reaction. Very simple as name indicates. The reaction in which only one enantiomer is predominantly formed out of other possible enantiomers then that reaction is called enantiomeric excess reaction. For example, this pyruvic acid, this biochemical reaction, pyruvic acid is converted to the lactic acid in presence of enzyme. So, this gives only positive lactic acid, D-lactic acid, and another lactic acid is L-lactic acid. Out of these two enantiomers, only one is selected predominantly, because of this, this is called enantioselective reaction. Another is diastereomeric excess reaction or diastereoselective reaction. Here, out of two diastereomer, one is selected predominantly. Then this reaction is called diastereomeric excess reaction. For example, this alkyl, uh, the reduction is H2PDBA super Lindler catalyst gives cis alkene. Trans is possible, but cis is given, cis is selected, cis is form predominant. So this is, this is diastereoselective reaction. And if you change the reaction condition, under this reaction conditions, we get only trans alkene. So out of cis and trans, trans is selected and cis and trans are diastereomers. So one diastereomer is selected out of another, another possible diastereomer. So this is called diastereoselective reaction. So this is all about stereoselective reactions. Thank you.